Hey gang, Mark here. I'm not a real voice actor. I just play one on these recordings. So here we go. Well, here I am. In the Fortress of Solitude. In the RV. With my makeshift... Uh, quiet booth. Yeah, this is the booth. Uh, surrounded by, I don't know, about eight, eight moving blankets thick. Uh, the front of the RV is, oh, I'm up here in the cockpit, sitting, oh, right in the passenger seat. And the whole RV is surrounded by this big pleated curtain that does the side windows all around the front. Hey gang, Mark here. I'm going to give you a walk through my booth in my 2002 Mountaineer Class A RV. Let's take a look. All right there, and this is Sparks. Sparks is my security officer, and she keeps uh, she keeps all the rabbits and uh, squirrels and things from uh, invading the RV. Right, Sparks? You're a good puppy. Yeah, you are. All right, here is my... This is where I set up my voiceover booth. Now, being a... Being an RV, you're moving quite a bit. So I had to come up with something pretty quick. Something that can be put up and taken down fast. So I've gone with mounting some D-hooks... And parachute cord, and you can see I've got these so they can be clipped on, taken off very fast. And there's one up here. Uh, in the back, I also have a piece of parachute cord running on the back, and I can hang moving blankets there. And let me add a few moving blankets because this isn't the whole setup. But as you can see, the uh, the whole front of the RV comes with a pleated curtain that goes around and then there are these screens that drop down on each side and that's not enough in behind the curtain on the windshield I have a it's like a, about a quarter inch thick thermal mat it's made out of a reflective material with air bubbles sort of in it like a honeycomb and then over by the recording area, behind that, I actually have like a foam mat. And let me see if I can show you a piece of that. It's about a half inch thick. And, oh, let me see. That's it right there. It's a kind of a spongy, cushiony material that I picked up at Harbor Freight. And it's actually designed... For walking on, but it makes a, a fair soundproofing. The roof of the RV already has a soundproof, soundproofing uh, roof or ceiling material, and above that is about four or five inches of insulation. Above that, you're on. You're talking the roof is a it's a three quarter inch plywood, and then there is a rubber roof over top of that. So, being a Class A RV, and this uh, Newmar is a pretty high-end one, it already is fairly soundproofed. I mean, it's, it's about as good as a nice car. So, just think of this as a big, fat Cadillac. And uh, I've added more soundproofing uh, under the doghouse here, but we're not going to be recording with the engine running. And there is carpeting. So, let me get the... Let me get the rest of my uh, moving blankets hooked up, and I've got a good collection of them. They're uh, they're easily torn down, and we have this. This stool it opens up, and I have it filled with uh, blanket material. So anyway, I'll get this hooked up, and you'll get to see the next stage. 
So I have six, er, six layers of moving blankets. These are three 72 inch by 40 inch moving blankets and uh, I layer them and then fold them over so that gives me six layers thick. So the sound will have to, by my microphone, get through three layers of these mats, then through six layers, through a screen, through the pleated curtain, and then the, the uh, rubber foam material on the other side. So that's going to do a nice job for me muffling any sound from over here. Now I'm going to duplicate that here on this one. So give me a sec. And on this side, I have about another, I just hung about another five inches worth of blankets. Uh, I got a moving blanket and a couple other blankets. They're doubled over. So yeah, it gives me about five inches there. And, oh God, I don't know. Six layers over here. I have a moving blanket doubled over on the back and black foam in, in under there to keep any sound from the uh, laptop exhaust getting back up into the microphone. And I'm going to put a couple more heavy duty moving blankets across the back. That's them right down there. And that will give me my makeshift booth area. And again, hung with parachute cords and D hooks. So this can all be disassembled in under five minutes. All right, so now I have four layers of moving blankets off the back of the makeshift booth. So that's pretty thick. It's really not a bad area to work out of. It'll do a fair job. And being a RV, you know, you're gonna be limited to your RVs soundproofing from outside, but this really doesn't do a bad job. And let me give you a tour from the inside of the booth. And first, let me get my coffee. And this is the, uh, the inside of the booth. Or actually the RV, not the booth. We got the bedroom back there, the bathroom and shower, uh, sink, uh, refrigerator. We have a gas stove, a microwave convection oven. I've got my coffee pot, my uh, Ninja air fryer, and there's Sparks, head of security, head of security. How we doing Sparks? Everything looking pretty secure? All right. And I'm going to close the windows just to minimize any sound while we're doing the recording and right now i'm just recording this with my galaxy s21 phone so this is the audio you're hearing is from the phone and down inside the booth i've got the electro voice re20 microphone you're not listening to the microphone right now um Again, I have the moving blanket off the back. So the only really vulnerable spot might be here, any reflection coming off of the big 32 inch monitor and the laptop. Though I have taken some of these cheap uh, placemats that you can pick up at Dollar Tree for a buck 25. And uh, just to give a little, little cushioning, so another thing to minimize reflections and i have picked up some really nice uh plugins from isotope i have the uh the isotope rx10 package which comes with denoise dereverb declick uh debuzz and with those and this setup and this great microphone um i gotta tell you It'll do a fair job for you, you know. I mean, this isn't a booth like you might see uh, some of the big boys using in their homes for professional work. Uh, but then, this is an RV. So, can you do decent work in an RV? 
Sure you can. All right, let's take a look and see. Right now I'm talking. I could probably bring this up a little bit. All right, test, one, two, three, four. There you go. I'm jumping up around minus 15. Every once in a while it will peak up to minus, almost minus 12. And the noise floor right now is just jumping up, I don't know, somewhere around minus, minus 59, minus 60. Uh, not too bad. I think we can work with that. And right now, this is working, and I, it, the post filters aren't even, you know, my FX aren't even being worked on right now. So by the time I'm done on the, uh, the post editing, with the gate and the, and the isotope RX filters, um, I think we're going to be doing pretty good. All right, let's sync the audio. Okay, hopefully that'll work. And I've got two cameras recording. I have my Logitech cam doing the computer uh, aiming at me and capturing the Reaper DAW screen. And I've got the uh, Galaxy S21, which is also uh, going to be catching the what's going on in the booth here for a little bit all right let's do some recording all right let's sync our audio all right bring my volume up okay all right gang i'm gonna sync my audio i'm oh i don't know let me do it again all right let's sync the audio Okay, hopefully that'll work. And I've got two cameras recording. I have my Logitech cam doing the computer uh, aiming at me and capturing the Reaper DAW screen. And I've got the uh, Galaxy S21, which is also uh, going to be catching the what's going on in the booth here for a little bit. All right. Let's do some recording. Okay, this is a test. This is a test of the ElectroVoice RE20 microphone. And you can see my levels right now are doing pretty darn good. You can look right now and see the noise floor. It's pretty darn quiet. It's, it's right around minus 60 dB. And once I'm playing this back off of the... Uh, you know, through my FX, I'm going to have the Isotope RX-10 uh, denoise, the D-reverb. There'll be a D-click and a D-hum. It's going to sound pretty darn good. Not bad for a mobile setup. No, this isn't a booth junkie quality recording studio. But it is a pretty nice RV well built and i have done my due diligence of surrounding the area with pretty thick layers of moving blankets i don't hear any bad audio i'm not hearing bad echoes i'm out here at an rv park right now it's fairly quiet granted if i get the guys with the leaf blowers or the chainsaws right outside i might hear some noise uh, the place I was at last time, uh, just last week uh, for just about, uh, four months, it was right off the, uh, airstrip for the Monterey International Airport. And believe me, those jets going over were pretty darn loud outside. It wasn't too bad in here, but I would still have to stop, you know, stop talking, doing any recording while the jet flew over you, you just but a lot of that is the real low rumble so it's not too bad and i am cutting pretty much most of everything off below 
100 hertz, uh, below one, blah, 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 blah. I can talk, below 100 hertz, so not too bad. Anyway, let's put this video together and try to get it up so I can share it with my friends out on Discord. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in.